Hi guys, this is Sauro. In this video, we will learn how we can create an app that can display our online user of our app. Okay, so using this app, you can find the how many people are using your app right now. Okay, at the same time. So let me show you the example first how this app will work. So you can see that's our app here. You can see online user and one and this one is the exit button, right? Okay. Now it means one screen, it means one user is online here. Now let me just open this app in another mobile. And here you can see that's my app here, okay? I'm going to open this app like this. And here you can see the online user is two. And in this here you can see emulator, automatically this value is updated to two, right? It means whenever someone is third person is come to automatically this count will automatically increase to three. Now let me click on this exit button, right? And here you can see the app is closed in my screen and in this emulator you can see here in this app the online user is only one it means that one self okay so that's really very simple and amazing app to find how many people are online at the same time in our own app okay so let me show you how we can create this app so here we go you can implement this idea in your any app okay so let's create new project here i am using here mit app inventor to create this app so project name is online user 5 so now you can see that's our first screen here right now let me just drag and drop one button and that one is one label like this click on screen and you can see alignment center make it also center and I'm going to change this background color to something pink and now this one label value should be zero because right now zero uh, online user here and make this font size at least 40 okay and click on this button and I'm going to change this to exit Okay, so whenever someone want to close their app and exit, so you have to uh, call this button here, then they just need to click on this button, okay? And I'm to make this one with this fill palette, right? You can code here for in closing screen, okay? So let me just write orange like this, and this one is 80, like this. I'm to make this with this percentage, you know, 50. Yeah, that's fine, right? That's your online user. That's your exit. Okay, you can display here that like uh, online user, like this, online user, like this, and make it twenty, and make this one. It's fine, right? That's your simple app. Okay, now let me just do codes here. So first, I have to drag and drop Firebase. Okay, that is important thing here drag and drop it and we have to drag and drop one timer also click on sensor and this one clock drag and drop this here okay now click on firebase now we have to set up firebase here so open new tab and just type here firebase okay and go to the console you have to log in into firebase account okay after this you will find the go to console option so you can see add project option click on this add project and your project name is online users app inventor and enter then next then account then create project click on continue and then in the left side you will find real time database click on it then create database enable now you have to click on this rules option then you have to make this all to true, false to true, and this should be true. And then publish, dismiss. Go to the data tab and copy this link here. Okay, this one. Go to the MIT app the app and paste this file here. Right, simple. Now we have connected with Firebase. Now go to the block section. Okay, now let's create one variable, global variable here. In a slice global variable now we have to add the name like this one is the status right and I'm going to define this value to null right now we have to code for in a slice screen 
whenever a screen will initialize when a screen will initialize that we have to set this global status value to join okay so i'm to use here this text and just type here join okay join now whenever we change this status so we have to call here click on firebase and we have to get the value okay get value here we have to get the value of that tag so which one tag we are going to use your count tag okay this one is tag will count the all users okay if the value value tag is not there then we will define tag value zero right now now whenever this get value it means firebase got this one got value will call okay so in that we have to use some conditions okay so click on this logic option control and use fs and here we have to use here to as f option okay that one right now we have to use your click on logic and and option this one and right click on this and you can see external input click on this just drag and drop this here like this and we have to set logic equal like this okay and copy paste this here now we have to compare if the global status value it means cat global status value if it means this will need joint then equal join this one if the global status value is join and the tag value it means cat tag value is count okay then both is true then we will store the value it means click on firebase and you will see here is store value option this one call it here then we have to store value in which tag in this count tag like this store value in count tag and we have to store one plus value okay it means click on math and you can see the option plus this one and we have to get the first this value we are getting the count tag value this one get count value right and get value plus if the value is zero then zero plus one it means click on max and drag and drop this here like this zero plus one equal one okay now in the second time okay whenever the tag is something else okay so we have to do one more condition here if so let me just to think this here if the tag is let me just click on button one whenever someone click on button one whenever screen will initialize set join the add value then this will automatically store plus one count plus one value in the server okay it means the value is right now one it means one user is online here now whenever someone click on the exit button it means button one then we have to set change this status okay so copy paste this and copy paste this one also like this okay and we will change this status should be left okay then whenever someone click on this button one exit then we, we, we have to call this will automatically call call value option then we have to check here one more condition copy paste this as it is and global status value if global status value is left right and the tag count is count is as it is then we will store the value like this and we have to minus here one value because someone is exit from our app okay so that's why I click on max and you can see minus this one then just get here and then one is here let this delete this right now this is fine and we have to close our application so just type here close application like this or you can call close the screen simply here now we have to get the uh, we have to display this count in the label okay and make sure we have to call it again and again because there are a lot of users online at the same time so how we can get their status also so for that we have to use timer to call it in every second okay so for that 
click on this clock option and when timer dot clock one dot timer okay then whenever this will call then we will set this status here like this and what we will the status is should be stop right and make sure go to the design and click on clock and make sure this one is disabled right now okay we we don't need to call uh, clock this in a screen initialization we will call this after storing the value here okay so click on clock and you can see your call dot enable this one here like this oh. like this and make sure this should be true just type here true like this we will call it here right and because we have set already set global stop value so how we can do this we have to check here condition here it means go to the logic and this one equal if the status tag it means global status tag it means this one is is stop okay it means this one is a stop then what we will do is stop then we will fetch the value okay because we have to fetch the count value how many users are there right so we will call this one and whenever this will call then again this file will be called then this will going to load so this will automatically count and automatically get the count value from firebase okay now we have to set label value so we will call it label one label one dot tags this one here like this and we have to get value it means this one value like this now we have to do one more thing we have to get the value so how we are getting the value you can use directly like clock dot timer dot get stop and you can call it again also this is not necessary this one for getting the value right like this okay so let me run this app and how this app will work so now let me just refresh this okay let me just change this value to zero here right now okay and find firebase value zero go to the MIT inventor and refresh this app you can see value zero now wait some second this will take right and the value is one because we have opened this one screen go to the firebase and check yes value is one now let me open my own app okay and this will automatically uh, you know uh, increase this value okay so let me show you and here you can see that's my app here okay i'm going to open this app like this and here you can see the online user is 2 and in this here you can see emulator automatically this value is updated to 2 right it means whenever someone is third person is come to automatically this count will automatically increase to 3 now let me click on this exit button right and here you can see the app is closed in my screen and in this emulator you can see here in this app the online user is only one it means that one self okay so that's really very simple and amazing app to find how many people are online at the same time in our own app thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask one comment and please 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 subscribe my channel like this video share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye